Welcome back everyone to Communist China. This time we will continue on east towards Manchuria. Hopefully, um, that is if the game decides that we will, which it might not. <laughs> it might not. And I just noticed that there's a problem. Yes, there is a big problem. You're going there, buddy. And then you're still there. I mean, you might as well be with him. Okay, so we've got our plans straightened out a little bit. Okay, and now we can research. I'm gonna get defense and depth. It's gonna take quite a while. We still have the problem of basically a wall of Japanese up here. Japanese and puppet troops, so nothing that I quite enjoy. Oh, no, 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 don't redeploy! <laughs> For the love of God, don't redeploy. Whatever you do. Okay. So they seem to be... Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Holy sh- No! Okay. Okay, finally. Finally, 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 finally. Holy shit, you gotta be shitting me sometimes. The interface. Holy shit. It actually gives me heart attacks. Okay. Looks like Dalian is actually open. For now, we won't do anything about it. Why do you have four divisions under your command? Oh, right, right, right. That's my bad. Even though it's not a bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to send half of you for that po uh, gap. I'm going to send you on over like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please stop them. Okay, good. No, I want you all like that. Who did you assign? Okay, fine. That should be enough to keep the encirclement going. We also need to find some way to relieve this division. Which will be doable soon enough, but not now. Not now at all. We're also losing a lot of rifles, which is not good. We also have quite a lot of support equipment. How can we use that support equipment? We can get so <laughs> No, we can't. No, 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 we can't. Okay, so for now we can't use the support equipment yet. Let's actually create a duplicate of this guy. Just tank division one. And we'll remove that. Put cavalry as the mobile group. That doesn't help the speed. That absolutely does not help the speed. Nope, not at all. Okay. In fact, it just does not help the speed at all. I wonder why. Why is your speed so low? What, 4%, 4 kilometers an hour. And you're 4 kilometers an hour too. I know that. So... Really, why is the light tank only 4 kilometers an hour? That makes absolutely no sense. Hold on. It 
It's supposed to be a light tank one, right? I'm guessing so. So it's supposed to have a six kilometer maximum speed. I'm very confused right now. It does not tell me the speed over here. Oh boy, uh, T26, my tank. Why are you that slow? It's just slow. <laughs> I do not know why, but it's just slow. I honestly don't understand why it's so slow. It's like really weird. That would require 60 light tanks. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's just modify this guy to have the light tanks. Yep. Oh, they've actually managed to send troops back up here. Not sure how that is possible, but it's definitely not good. Okay. <sighs> the, okay, the army keeps getting creeped up here. It's really, really annoying. No, 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 no! Okay, like that. Oh, finally! Holy shit! Let's try to finish off these guys. Where's the armor division? They're over here, okay. Where are you going? Okay, no, right. Never mind. Hold on. Like that, please. Thankfully, no one's getting redeployed up there. Why does it keep switching the front lines like this? It's honestly starting to piss me off. Yeah, like this. Where are these guys going? Okay, no, never mind. Right, I know why they're doing that. And why does it keep switching the front line over like this? It does not make any sense. It j Do you see what it's doing? I keep switching the front line down, and it keeps, keeps just moving it up north for no entire reason as to... Uh, it's just to be a dick, honestly. There's no reason for it to do that except to be a complete dick, and it's doing that. It's, it's really, really pissing me off. Let's just put some troops in production. Even though it's not going to do anything, but you get what I mean. There's the Spanish Civil War, the Nationalists have won. It doesn't really matter because I'm just trying to juggle the annoying ass interface. Honestly, well, the main problem with this game is just the interface. It's just terrible. It's really, really shit. These guys are out of supply because they're in a bad terrain, not because of any other reason. Good. Okay. Let's try to make an attack. It's not working because their troops are actually very good. I wasn't expecting that. So we've gotten that War of Annihilation. 
and we need the partial guerrilla operation to get the increased credibility of doctrine, okay? And that would be really good. Japan gains flaws in frontline operation, which decreases their division organization by five, fifty, actually 50% 50 for 700 days. Yeah, how about that? That would be really, really useful. Uh, unfortunately, Manchukuo would not gain that, which would mean that most of the enemy troops... Yeah, most of the enemy troops wouldn't be affected by that. Because I'm guessing most of the troops on the front line are actually Manchukuo troops. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, it looks like in the south they're also fighting because the Japanese have landed a few units around. Looks like this landing will be shut down because they haven't managed to secure a port, but this landing has secured Ningbo, so they will be cut down eventually. And our, unfortunately our Soviet volunteer division over here, which has stood pretty much undaunted for most of this time, will get eventually defeated. We're trying to at least force them into defensive battles where we can make use of, of at least of a defensive advantage and cause some casualties. It's kind of working, it's kind of not. They still haven't taken quite as many casualties as we have. And right now, ooh. How about that? We seem to have an opportunity. Good. For some reason the territory went to nationalist China though. I absolutely dislike that. Yeah, I do not know why East Hebei has gone to nationalist China instead of me. Oh well, we'll just have to eat that. Eat that consequence. And they're about to go fascist, which is not fun. They've also banned communism, and if we were to boost party popularity, we wouldn't be able to actually gain states off of them, which is a problem. At least we managed to take out the enemy forces in that pocket, which was our aim. One less Japanese division to actually worry about. Thankfully. They're also making a big push up here with the Manchurian troops. Not really what I would like to see, but not much that I can do about it. Except maybe send some reinforcements. Let's try to do that. Oh, they've gotten involved in that other engagement. Okay. So it seems like the front line is at least a little bit stable. Partially thanks to the efforts of the Soviets who are helping us, and partially thanks to the efforts of us who are not as stupid as the AI. Honestly, micromanaging in this game lowers the difficulty by so much, just because the AI is so prone to making horrible mistakes. Oh, the Anschluss, okay. So yeah, it's 1938 and it we are heading towards World War II in Europe. Looks like... Wait... Poland has a very good opinion of Germany. How did that happen? Seriously, how the hell did that happen? It's very strange. But yeah, um, the Germans are trying to go to war with the USSR. Now, Poland is not in the Axis, so... How, wait, how did... Very good opinion between Poland and Germany happen? I'm not sure. To me, this does not draw closer to Berlin. 
No, it's Britain. Right, never mind. Seek accommodation to Germany. They haven't done that, so I'm not sure. That's very, very strange, honestly. Oh well. Uh, we'll just ignore that for a while. And we're very close to making a pocket over here, but unfortunately we can't do that. At least not yet. The Japanese still have the superiority in terms of firepower, so we're going to have a real hard time actually advancing. We're going to increase the credibility of our doctrine, which is going to hopefully remove that modifier. Yeah, uncertainty of the new doctrine. This one, the vision recovery rate and land doctrine research time increase. That's going to be removed from that. And we're going to get the confidence in new doctrine, which is going to increase our organization and recovery rate. That's helping our army kind of stay in the fight. Uh, the Soviets still have these divisions just kind of standing there. Not exactly what I would like to see, but oh well. Now we're just looking for an opening when the Japanese will sort of lower their troop count in one area or another. We'll just try to attack them there and wait and see if they react. We really need some way to get that uh, political power cost from guerrilla warfare away, but oh well. So far, no way that we can actually do that. The Japanese are making some pretty big attacks over here, but there's not much that we can do to actually counter. Defense and depth, great. Uh, we could go for mass mobilization, which would make sense in terms of what we're doing. But honestly, we've got so we've gotten so many problems with modifiers that I just feel like it's not going to be good enough. It's just not going to be good enough, and then we're going to need to go for the large front operations because it gives us better tactics and it gives us better overall bonuses in general. Uh, later on, it's going to diversify into motorized and mechanized infantry, but not really that much. Yeah, we're going to go for deep battle. I'm going to try to get the relentless assault. Oh, well, how did that happen? Okay, so they're trying a landing, and it's not working. Or at least, it's not if I let it work. Oh, shit. They're actually gonna get Chendao. That's a problem. That's a big, 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 big problem. One that I would like to not have to deal with, but that I will have to deal with, unfortunately. So let's get a expeditionary force over and try to defeat them as quickly as possible. This is going to weaken our front line, but we have to stomach that, at least for now. And we're going to try to get the Japanese a terrible modifier, at least for now. Exploit our enemy's mistake. If we can retake Chindao, then yeah, that would be pretty excellent. We're gonna get this guy to defend them, defend the city again. We're gonna try to surround this guy. 
somehow it gave the territory over to nationalist China, which really, really pisses me off. And let's cut them off from the sea as well. All the while giving our troops actual plans. So we've gotten an overrun off. And now let's try to win back our territory up here. Good, they are now trapped against land, which is where they are weakest. Got another overrun off, and of course, in the meantime, we lost Tianjin up here. Because the nationalists have actually abandoned the area. Oh boy. This will, yeah, we will pay for this mistake of allowing the Japanese to retake this area. And they're actually, they have actually opened a big second front down here, big enough to draw a lot of nationalist forces over, taking Shanghai, and that's pretty much the reason why we have suffered that setback in the north, because otherwise I don't see how the nationalists would have pulled so many troops away. Now we're just trying to survive. And keep our army alive, really. It's gonna be our main focus for now. No 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 no. You're not you're not doing that. You are not doing that. I refuse to allow you to be so stupid. Oh boy, we have a problem. We have a really big problem, actually. A really big problem is the fact that we can't do shit about this. We're gonna lose Beijing too, and all the factories in it. We're just trying to get the surround off, and at least someone. Up here things are going very badly, but we're starting to at least enter territory where we can defend ourselves.
And of course, someone decided to leave a gap open for them to relieve their infantry division. Not exactly what I would have liked to see. We will get the self-preservation. Yeah. Please, please surround them and stay there. Okay. No, no, you stay that. No! What are you doing? What? How can there be two divisions assigned to the plan if there's no divisions assigned to the front line? That makes no sense at all. Like that. Please. For God's sake. Okay. So it looks like Nationalist China has flipped over to reorganize Nationalist China. That's not very good for us. Not very good at all. But at least we managed to secure... Well, no we haven't. Because these two enemy divisions are... Yeah, they're taking us out. Let's try to finish off the pocket before they can escape. It's only two Manchurian divisions, but it's better than nothing. And our army in general seems to be quite disintegrating, which is a bit of a problem. I don't know why they're conducting these suicidal attacks without anyone telling them to, but they're doing it. Holy shit, 18 Manchurian divisions. This is exactly what I'm talking about with Manchukuo being very strong. And I think these guys are about to get surrounded. So please edit that and get these guys to safety. Whoa! How did that happen? That's not very good. That's not very good at all. Let's try to exploit that against the Japanese. And try to pocket them. Well, maybe we'll not be able to do that. In fact, we will definitely not be able to do that, but we'll definitely be available... Oh, God. We can definitely... hurt them if... <sighs> this seriously pisses me the hell off. Yeah, look! It automatically goes back to where I explicitly just told it to not go. This is really what pisses me off sometimes. And what the hell just happened over here? They were over there two minutes ago. Oh my god. Hold on. I have an idea. How about you pocket them? That's the fall of Nanjing in the south. Ooh boy. Oh boy. This is not going very well, is it? Okay. Now, if we can keep this area pocketed, 
then we actually have a pretty good chance. Because there's a lot of enemy divisions over there. No, don't go over there! Don't go over there! No, 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 no. I'm trying to prevent my army from killing itself. It's not easy. Okay, these guys are stuck in a desert with no supplies. So they, I think they're pretty screwed. I think this is how it will go for a long time now. We'll just be nigging away at the Japanese one division by one division once they overextend. And that way, hopefully, soon enough, we will reach a position where we can... Oh, our deficit of guns is so, so hard to deal with, though. Honestly. We really need to recapture some factories. Or we need the Soviets to send us land lease, which is not going to happen. And for some reason, these divisions are just not moving. These mechanized divisions that the Soviets have over here. Oh well, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll be ending the part, at least for now. Sorry for getting pissed off at the game, but sometimes it just has to happen. For me to enjoy it later, so you know, uh, you get pissed off sometimes and you enjoy it sometimes, but yeah, the interface sometimes is just not good. It's just bad. Oh well. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed despite everything, and I'll see you in the next part. See you then.